I have spent years learning exactly how the waveforms in DJ Pro AI operate. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about reading the waveforms so you'll know exactly what's going on in the track without using your headphones. First, we're going to start in classic mode. I'm going to show you guys where to find the waveforms and how to modify them so that you can get the best experience from the app. So the first view screen that we're going to be in is classic mode. And when you start it, you might think that there are no waveforms, but if you press this middle button right here, boom, there we go. Now we have access to both tracks waveforms in a vertical view. So as the track is playing, we're gonna see the waveforms going up. As the track spins, the waveforms are going up. So you could tell what's gonna happen in the song once you learn what the visual representation sounds like as audio. But the simplest thing to remember is the smaller the waveforms, you see how these are really thin? It's gonna be a smaller noise. It's not gonna have boom, boom, boom bass. It's gonna be more of vocals or more of a harmonic sound. So listen. So, so that's what it sounds like thin. And then if we go over here to thicker waveforms, it's more of boom, 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 more of a thicker sound. So that is one thing to keep in mind. All right, so how do we adjust the waveforms in this view? It may be a little tricky because some of them are kind of hidden, but I'm here to help. First thing that we can do is right here where it says one and two, there's a little hidden drop down menu. Now we're going to press that and then we get this drop down menu. We have slice and then we have slip. I'll get to those in a second. And then we have dark mode. So if we turn dark, dark mode off, then the, behind the waveforms is going to be kind of a lighter, a lighter view. Uh, I would recommend keeping it dark. It's just a visual, visual preferences for you, but dark makes it easier to see. Slice, what this does is when the track is playing, it makes, it makes each one of these boxes that you could use kind of like cue points if you want to do some finger drumming while you're DJing or something like that. That's what you, you would use slice mode for. I don't use that mode that much, but you could use it if you want to. And then slip. Slip is going to allow you to scratch, but then the waveforms are still going to be where they would have been if you didn't touch the jog wheel. It's a little confusing, but look what happens. So that's if you want to scratch and then keep the track going. Next is going to be down here. So down here at the bottom, a little hidden pencil, we're going to press that. Now we could set our grid. So if your track was not gridded right, some, some tracks aren't gonna be gridded on the one beat or on the two beat. So if you wanna do it manually, let's say I wanted the grid to start at the beginning of this track, I press the pencil and then start grid. Now the grid starts there and then it is going to analyze it that way. So that's if you're frustrated and you can't get your tracks to grid and then you can restore it to the way it was. The AI of the app does a really good job making the grid, so you might not have to use that that much. And then these buttons here, these will speed up and slow down the track. It doesn't have much to do with the waveform. So that is what you get in classic mode. You wanna see your waveforms, you're gonna have the waveforms in the middle, but then you can't use your mixer or you can't use your sampler, so that's why classic mode is a little bit more limited. Let's go to pro mode where we have pretty much full control over our waveforms. So the switch modes, we're going to press the middle button and then we're going to go into pro mode. So this is probably what your app is going to look like in pro mode as far as the waveforms go. So now we have horizontal waveforms. So when the track plays, it's going to be spinning and then going that way. So in this mode, if we press the same one and two buttons, we get more options, more customization 
making your DJ experience more personalized and making it easier for you to have fun and entertain the people that you're there to entertain. So again, slip, slice are both exactly the same up here. And then down here, dark mode is exactly the same. And then what's this? Jog wheel. It's clicked on. What happens if we do it, if we tick it off? Then we get no jog wheels. So if you're used to using DJ software that's not really jog, jog wheel heavy or you don't really scratch, you do more of electronic music, you might benefit from having a much bigger view of the waveforms. So now when the track's playing, we just have waveforms. We don't have jog wheels. But what if you want to adjust the track or scratch it? The waveform acts as an active jog wheel. So instead of spinning the jog wheel, you could just move it back and forth using the waveforms. So let's go back in to two. Let's give our jog wheels back. I personally can't DJ without jog wheels, so I would recommend keeping them on, but it's completely up to you. Waveform orientation. So now if you're used to DJing on softwares that has vertical waveforms, or maybe you've been DJing in classic mode for a while, then these vertical waveforms might be beneficial to you. It's all, again, it's all your personal preference. So. Now we get these small ones. I think the horizontal, you get much more surface area and you get much more of a view. But again, if you want to use vertical, you can. And then you could even zoom in. So if we press zoom in, it's going to make the waveforms bigger. I honestly never do that. But again, if that's how you like to see it, you could do that. Now we're back to reset. So that's with these one and two drop down menu. That is what you can change. Next is another hidden feature, which you might have got to by accident or you might not know how to do it. This represents, you see where it's lit up over here? That represents that we have the mixer, this over here. If we do the middle one, then we get our playlist and our music sources. This one is our sampler and looper. But if we press it again, then all that is gone and we get these big views of our waveform. Look how big these waveforms are. So we get a bigger view, more surface area. We could see everything that's going on, especially if you have a bigger iPad. I'm using the iPad Pro. And then now if we do vertical waveforms, then you get a good view of your vertical waveforms. If you have to use vertical waveforms, I would use it in this mode. Look how huge it is. But let's just switch it back to horizontal. Now we have neuro mix tracks. So this is really cool. So the first one is going to be our regular, just our regular waveforms that we've been talking about. The next one is going to separate the waveforms between vocals and harmonics. So now, see in this part of the song, up here, there's nothing, so there's going to be no vocals. And then look, this, see how the vocal symbol's here? And then it's getting the here. And then we're going to get vocals. This is a great setting to have on so you don't play double vocals because you never want to play two songs vocals at the same time. It's just going to confuse people. And we get even more. We could get drums, instruments, and vocals, three bands. And then we could even get all four of our narrow mix. I go more into detail on this in my neuro mix video so you guys could check that out. But you probably didn't know that you could do that, but I would just leave it in there. So the only way to access that narrow mix waveform view is if you have the waveforms in the big view. Now, if we go back over here, now we can't. You can only do it when the waveforms are bigger. So I hope this helped you guys customize your waveforms, make the app the way you want it, the way it makes sense to you. And if you guys want to learn how to use neuro mix, check out this video where I show you guys more details on how to use Neuromix with this amazing app. Thank you.